More than 600 miles away from America's financial hub lies a city with striking similarities. We th thought it was very symbolic that um, the Democratic National Convention was coming to Charlotte with this being Wall Street of the South. It's the second largest banking um, institution uh, city outside of Wall Street itself. Well, the Democratic National Convention being hosted here in Charlotte is also home to the headquarters of Bank of America. The massive bank has come under fire for unreasonably raising interest rates on their customers and wrongfully foreclosing on homes. Protesters took to the streets surrounding the Democratic National Convention, and the police were quick to respond. But at least one speaker at the convention highlighted the greed and corruption these protesters speak out against. Massachusetts senatorial candidate Elizabeth Warren. People feel like the system is rigged against them. And here's the painful part. They're right. The system is rigged. Look around. Oil companies guzzle down billions in profits. Billionaires pay lower tax rates than their secretaries. And Wall Street CEOs, the same ones who wrecked our economy and destroyed millions of jobs, still strut around Congress, no shame. Bank of America is one such corporation many say profits from this so-called rigged system. The bank has faced a slew of lawsuits and is accused of predatory lending, which resulted in foreclosures across the country. In 2008, a number of banks failed and the taxpayers were asked to bail them out. And the taxpayers did through the government. Um, now those same banks, those banks are acting the same as they did before. With little change since the 2008 Wall Street crisis, many fear history is doomed to repeat itself. According to some activists, money and corporate influence on American politics is a hazardous mix. One of the main things that we stand on is, is the money's, uh, big corporations influence um, through the money, um, how they've taken over our pol political system. They write the legislation, they, they, they fund uh, the campaigns, and um, almost every uh, elected official has, has to answer to them rather than to the people themselves. So what can Americans do? There's a lot of local credit unions, uh, small credit unions that are answerable to local communities. Uh, if the community doesn't like what the credit union is doing, they can actually stop them from doing that. Others have taken their grievances to the streets. In Charlotte, North Carolina, Liz Wall, RT.